Okay, I know I said meet you up there, Pedalberg, but might as well just show this off here. I'm gonna try not to take too long. But we talked to this research researcher down here. We're trying to develop a device to resurrect Pokemon from fossils, and it's working. Here's a little indicator, and would you like to bring that Pokemon back to life with the new fossil regenerator? Here over the claw, and what we gotta do is just soup de doo, go outside, have a smoke break. No. Forget I said that. We got Amroth. Or Anoth. Uh, I wanna. It's a female, and it's. A claw, so I wanna call it. Reza will work. Alright, come on, be a good one. Come on, be a good one. Comes level. No! Why? Why? Oh, shucks. It had to be a timid. But it has battle armor, which means no more bloody focus energy. Okay, moving on. If you come back up here and talk to this guy, if you deliver the leather and you come back here, then it gives you the experience share. Experience share allows you to cut the experience in half on the main and give it to the person holding the experience share. And it'll be quite handy for this new guy coming up. So, a quick little rundown here. Let's backtrack with some foreshadowing. I finally made new kinds of Pokeballs. Repeat Ball makes you catch Pokemon you caught before. And the Timer Ball is good for catching Pokemon if the battle runs long. Wow, that's a Pokemon I've game about the results of their desire to learn about the feelings of Pokemon. Kinda like a GPS. Alright. Yeah, so if you were to come from Vendendurf to the Resp... going towards Respiro, you would have run into the Devon guy and you would have gotten some repeat balls. Or at least one repeat ball. Device for talking with Pokemon. Uh, actually, that's pretty much come out. Device that visually produces the dreams of Pokemon. That's not going well, so recapping. They've actually thought ahead two generations for this concept. So yeah, how's that for foreshadowing? Okay, okay. So, I'm just gonna speed up to there, cause my recorder does not allow me to have a pause button. I don't know why this one does not have a pause button, but eh, what can you do? Alright, here we are. But first off... This is not a battle for Amaroth, sadly. They're easy. Not for now. Gonna be going in there with just four again. With this time, I want to lead with Rez because the first one I believe is a, is a this is a normal type fighting gym according to the Proctor here. Yep, they use items, and they're mostly normal type. So, let's go ahead and explore all these. This is the speed room, which means it's basically super speedy Pokemon.
yes, being able to hit first actually does give you the greatest advantage. Oh, well, okay, I, I had it wrong. Okay, okay. Alright, I got something. <laughs> I came prepared for this. Wing attack. I forgot. I forgot Ruby and Sapphire was different from Emerald. Okay, well, we're okay. Alright, let's go to this one here. It's the confusion room, which means I think there was either a Spinda or a Metatite. Now, wait, was it a Spinda? Or was it a Metatite? It was a Spinda. No two spinners about it. Oh wow, it has focus sponge. Silly panda. Focus punch don't confuse. You haven't even tried to confuse. You were trying to stack up on Focus Punch, thinking I was gonna swap out. Alright, Strength Room. That's gonna be a bad one. Uh, I think this one probably is a Zongoose. I think it was a Zongoose, wasn't it? Uh, Zong. Oh. Crap, Crush Claw. I just remembered Crush Claw. Oh, will I tank it? It's a slash. Can I tank it? No. Nope. 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 That was a tall glass of nope. Alright. Ah, oh, crap, it's stacking sword stance. Magnitude 8. <clears throat> oh, boy. Hyper Potion. We need a good one. Nine, that'll probably take us to the same amount. Stacked another sword stance. Crush Claw would have definitely killed me with that one. Woo! Close call. Close call. Gym Leader's Room. See for yourself what Pokemon awaits. Nope. Because. What fun would it be just to go through just one side? Also, click that one. There we go. I came with some revives just in case something were to happen. This is the defensive room, man. They got some defensive... Um, let's see here. What type was this one? Okay, how about it? Ooh, that's a tank. Wigglytuff has not only got quite a bit of HP, but all-around stats are pretty good, too. Oh. Double edge. Well, 
double edge ain't got nothing on this. Alright, this calls for a sooty pop. Alright, this one has taken us to the strength room. We want to go to this one. The one hit KO room. Also known as the room full of... Yeah, critical hits, which means a whole crap load of slashes. Probably another Zangoose. Or is it a Linoon? Oh, it's worse. It's a big rock. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I know what you're going to do. You're going to focus energy and slash. Tank it, tank it, tank it. Banking on it, focus energy. Uh. Set up the stun. It's not going to be nearly enough. And if they're going to heal, yep. Okay, this one's going to drag on. One last stack up. Do one Mega Drain and we should be good to go. That'll lead to the gym leader's room again, so we're gonna back off. We're gonna go tackle the other side. Accuracy room, which means moves that boost its accuracy or makes you lose your accuracy. It is really nasty when, especially when you're hit three times with minimize and. Then you're hit six times with send attack and you can't do anything. Except for, you know, moves that have no accuracy at all. Shockwave's one of them. And Vital Throw's another. Oh, uh, it's gonna heal. <laughs> this is going to be a long episode. Alright, level 30. 
We're getting on par. Alright, this would have taken us to defense room. We don't want that. Oh, the recovery room. I know definitely what this room means. gonna do a combination of hyper potions and recoveries. I smell cadabra. Nope, it's slack off. Well, it's not as bad as I would have first thought. It's loafing around. Take advantage of that. Easy and simple. That's it for everybody, so now we're on to the gym leader. I think I got enough power points and res to keep going. Okay, memory serves. He has a slack off, two vigor offs, and a slack. So this is gonna be a fun, fun fight. Alright, just to check real quick. I have two vital throws. Well. Let's see here. I should have a... No. Check tag used it. Vital throw is going to be my biggest component here. Hmm. So you got four badges. Fine. As promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Obata. I'm so happy I can have a real battle with my own child. Thank you, protagonist from Gen 2. But a battle's a battle. Give it your best shot. Alright, fine. Wait. Oh, God, I am I am rusty as hell. Might as well just say that I'm playing this blind at this point. Uh, wow, it's stuck into an encore, which means I'm stuck doing vital throw. Oh, I'm stuck doing fake out. No, 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 Drop his HP down. Well, if it's gonna heal, then I'm gonna heal as well. Alright, good call. Ah, four. Ah, oh, teeter dance makes you confused. I would have loved to have a full restore on me at this point. Minor pause, folks. I might need a tissue. Uh, season's running to make my nose run. Okay. Spin is down, but the real problem lies it in. Sent out his big guns, slacking. All right, slacking is even stronger than Snorlax, but he has a big, big flaw. If you can take advantage of his 
Truant ability, like Fake Out, you'll make him flinch on the second turn. Or you make him loaf. Wow. And Facade just took me out. One shot. Take advantage of his loafing. It's probably a focus punch. I'm going to test it. No counter. All right. Take advantage of his loafing. Gonna eat a citrus berry. Revive res. Slap on another magnitude. Will this be enough? Definitely gotta hit a seven. It's gonna put me to sleep and then it's gonna be the end of rock solid. Six won't be enough and it's gonna heal. Okay, well. That's what I got a blue flu for. Wait, it didn't heal. Interesting. Okay, let's finish this. Lucky seven. All right, everybody's leading hard. And now we got Vigoroth. figure out that I actually have to be a little bit careful with. For Vigoroth, I need to set up Stun Spore. Because it has Vital Spirit. Sleep will not do anything to it. And then stack a Leech Seed. Back to Res. This way it'll steal one sixteenth of its HP away every time. Slap on some arm thrusts. It's paralyzed, it can't hit. Sap its strength. So now even two hits will take it out. But he uses a hyper potion instead. Why do you not heal with a slack king who's almost dead? I don't know, is just the AI just bad or something? Survive the slash. Take out that Vigo Roth. Alright. Oh, Line Noon. Oh, we can take care of this one in one shot. Tank the slash. Nope, I guess I was wrong. Oh, Belly Drum cuts the HP in half and maximizes attack. Yes, 
what a way to win. Magnitude 10 split open to the ends of Earth and Linoon falls straight to hell. Perfect way to beat your father. Yeah, that was quite the thing too. Rule the rules, we get our fifth badge. We received the balance badge from father. The defense will increase. We, we know surf, we can get around. It gives us TM42 facade, which is a 70 base power and it doubles if it's poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. So is a father happy and sad odd and poof. Yep, and we get kidnapped right on the spot. I'm like, yeah, we won the gym battle, yoink. While he's become very healthy since he went the Verdon turf. Verdant Delph. Verdant Blech. So, it's not a bribery thing, but he gives us Surf. So now we can Surf on the Seven Seas. Which reminds me, I need to have a Surf buddy to do this. Uh, let me check real quick before we call this a close. Can anybody learn Surf? No. Okay, well, well then, I'm going to find a surf buddy that's capable and compatible, and then we're going to resume it, and when we begin our journey to the next gym.